Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Record of Agarest War. In the last episode, we, well, we saved an elven girl, and we're running away from the Grimod Gridmodus. Gridamus, I think that's how you say. Yeah, the Gridamus soldiers. And now we've gotten here to the world, world map here. Uh, you can move around on the world map using the directional pad and whatnot. And then you can just go on to the next area. The next area is, well, here. It'll be indicated by, like, a orange circle. If you've already been here before, the circle, I think, will be blue, if I'm right? I don't know. We'll find out here in a second. Let's go in here. We have to do... On certain little spots here, we have to do battles and whatnot. Um, for this Let's Play, I will be cutting those out. So don't worry about it. And... <sighs> Matt... You didn't equip your weapons, you got. I just now realized that. <laughs> I just now realized I did not equip my weapons that I want. Because, eh, no, I'm, anyways. Do you want to learn about the clear bonuses? Yeah, let's go ahead. Even though I've already kind of talked about it. About clear bonuses. If you defeat all enemies quickly, extra points will be added to your clear bonus. Likewise, some points will be deducted if you take exceptionally long time. The higher the monster level, the larger the bonus becomes. If the monster level is too low, some points may be de deducted even if you defeat it quickly. Calculation is the difference between your highest level character and the enemy's highest level monster. It's not based on the average level of your characters. Okay, so that's how that, that works. Anyways, now we got three characters, now we can attack over here in the sonic wave. Now kick your ass! Ooh, bam! There we go. Ah, Steve, why you have to come during my recording session? Ah, train! Anyways, let's use Ellis's. Ellis is more of a... Oh, F you too, train, seriously. <laughs> Ellis is more of a magic-based character. She uses magic attacks. Like Impulse here. Not as strong as I wanted it to be. I remember this attack like decimating everybody. I think it's because I don't have my stuff equipped. Uh, miss, miss, miss. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed me. All those attacks missed too. So it's even funnier. Uh, Organine, you can't hit anybody. Okay. Come over here. Come over here. I'm gonna come over here. Okay. Probably kill, kill everybody. Do you want to learn about the extra skills? Yes, actually we do. Because I need to learn this myself too. About extra skills. Each character has unique abilities called extra skills. The extra skills require both AP and SP to use. SP increases when you activate a skill or receive damage. You also increase, it also increases when an enemy or a party member is defeated. Extra skills require a large amount of SP, AP and SP, but they're extremely powerful. They're they're a necessity in a battle against powerful enemies. You'll learn about the second extra skill at level 25, and a third one when you raise your class. You can raise your class by using a proof of valor at level 50. This item, however, cannot be used during battle. Now, we'll raise your SP high enough so you can use extra skills. Go ahead and try using them. If you can't use them, either the AP is not sufficient or the target is outside the range of the extra skill. Making sure that the conditions are met, try using the extra skill again. I think, okay, like, it's, like the tutorial said, I think, I think they actually increased your SP. You bitch! You're not doing much to me. Okay. Really? You're not done yet. Jeez. Freaking Gadama soldiers. Yeah, missed. Okay. Well, like like I said, I think it the like the tutorial said, I think it actually they actually yeah, they did increase it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much I got! 265! Okay, I'm gonna use the broken knuckles. <laughs> I wanna see this. And... Boom! <laughs> I think this is a one-time deal, though. That's cool. 
Got overkill with the grass, okay. Alright, stand by. Blast. You leave poor Ellis alone, she didn't do anything. You jerk. Okay, I'm gonna see this now. How much do you- You had 265 too, can I use Helling Blade? Ah, uh, no, I can't. Sad Matt, sad Matt, I can't use it. Oh, uh, fine. I don't think they. T I don't think it will be able to. I'm just gonna use power attack. You're almost dead. Yeah, I'll just kill you. I don't care. Like Howling Blade will see it in plenty of times on the playthrough. I'm sure. Anyways, like I said, this is going to be a very long LP. So, anyways, she has two hundred six. Shine Storm. I should have used my attacks last turn. I would have been able to show those all. Oh well. Come on. Die, fool. Can I overkill you? Nope, nope, I can't overkill you. Like I said, overkilling is just like, um, pretty much killing killing an enemy twice. I got three experience points from that battle. Really? Three? Okay, well, um, I'm gonna take this little time here. I'm going to go equip my stuff. I'm gonna show you here real quick. If you go to push triangle to bring out the menu, go to equipment. And start using you can change your equipment set here. Uh, iron sword. I have a bunch of stuff here, as you can probably see, because I have downloaded a lot of stuff. And like all this stuff is just like extra stuff that you can get. Like if you look at all this like here, you can equip and it, you'll see the stat changes right there at the bottom of the bottom left hand screen there. But yeah, that's pretty much that. And then you can equip skills, which I don't think I have any at the moment. No, I don't have any. But anyways, I'm gonna go equip my stuff real quick, and I'll see you guys here in a second. I guess you get you guys don't want to watch me equip stuff. All right, folks. Well, now I'm equipped with really beastly gear, by the way. <laughs> so, like I said, at the beginning of the game, I'm gonna be really broken, but it'll be well worth it. Anyways, let's go over here to the, the event here. Yep, I was right. It was gonna turn blue. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this. What is over here? Uh oh. I'll see something. There's a rock! This. Huh? Huh? This rock was never here before? Perhaps that cliff collapsed. Or perhaps... Wondering why this rock is here is a waste of time. We cannot go back, nor can we go around. We have no other choice but to remove this boulder so we may go forward. The answer to this problem should be perfectly obvious. You're right. We cannot think this boulder away. <laughs> but we have... We have but one way forward. This rock stands in our path. All we need is a way through it. If we work together, at least some of this boulder will fall before us. Even if we cannot destroy the entire thing. <coughs> Remember, friends, we must con concentrate all our blows at the same portion of rock. Two arms! Really? We're going... <laughs> the battle cry because of... <laughs> to freaking rock. We're gonna bust some rocks. I guess we're really... Chipping away at the problem? <laughs> okay, that was, that was lame. Okay, combat training. Do you want to learn about the extended areas? Yes, let's go ahead and learn about that. About extended areas. Each character has link tiles, which are referred to extended areas. By removing your character onto a teammate extended area, or vice versa, you can perform linked attacks. Though it is good to consider enemy's position during the move phase, it is important to be able to link characters in extended areas. Keep in mind that extended areas change with direction of the character faces. And considering move moving a character onto extended area, even if it means showing their back to the enemy. 
you can then attack the enemy to make your character face forward them. By knowing the characteristics shape of each extended area, you can use them more effectively. Efficient, efficiently. Be aware that enemies have their own extended areas, so they might link attacks. Be careful. Yeah, pretty much what this, what that does. You guys probably see those squares there. That's the link area. If a character goes in there, that means I can link attacks together. If I go up here, Leonhardt's um, link areas go a little bit differently. Do you want to learn about extended attacks? Yeah, go ahead. About extended attacks. Characters within an extended area can perform linked attacks. You can attack with characters by are link, linked by moving your cursor over them. Character can attack regardless of what turn it is by joining extended attack. In other words, you can make slow characters act sooner if you link them with a fast character. The extended attacks occur in the when a character who has linked allies takes their turn, you'll be able to control all the characters in the linked area e each other. But you'll also have them stand by without using skills you want to use save AP. Primary character during the turn can stand by as well. With extended attack, you can control only the characters you want to move. Range of the extended attack is based on the character's specific effect range. All the, this allows the linked character who is out of the attack range to come to the des desired area to attack the target. Since you can only use multiple characters to attack at once, you may select many skills to activate arts effectively. Keep in mind that characters won't return to the original position after the extended attack. Okay. Instead, they'll stay in the position they moved to. Okay, that makes sense. A character will always face forward toward the attack target, often leaving their back open to the other enemies. But just don't blindly rush at your enemies. Consider your party positions. And potential damage may incur after extended attack. Then command your characters accordingly. Okay, that pretty much basically all that gobbledygook they were talking about. Um, pretty much, you want your characters to be in those little squares. If you see right here, Leo and Ellis are now linked. I can come over here. Where is his? It's gotta be here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now I'm linked. Everybody's linked together. Here. Now, what that means is, whenever Leo takes his turn, because he's gonna go first, not only can he attack, but Ellis and Borg and I can attack, too. So, yeah. And by the way, I did get new skills, because based on the weapons I was equipping earlier, if I do broken hit and I push L2 or L1 and R1, I can switch characters. So, yeah, pretty much I can attack with everybody. So, like right now, I have this much attacks ready for attack this rock. I'm going to push start right here. Broken hit. I already overkilled the damn rock. <laughs> I also broke it. There's a break break uh, bar above the HP. What that means is, um, whenever uh, that break bar goes down, I'll do more damage. I think. I think that is. Yeah, I'll do more damage when I attacks if it's all the way gone. Yeah. As you can see, I attacked with everybody because they're all linked together. And the rock is gone. Now I took down the rock. Got silver ore. Oh, you gotta overkill the rock. We got a silver bullet. <laughs> Gosh. What did I? I got. <laughs> I got rank S. That's for sure. Like <laughs> no experience points. That was pointless. Okay. Well. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do the event right now, cause well, kind of have to. The bridgehead to the frontier is ours. All we need now is to do now is realign the troops, to make our attack. Was an army at the sale of the scale really necessary? What a strange thing to hear, and from you of all people, Largan. Have you forgotten about Halvos? Do you remember how much we lost in our attack in that puny settlement? Sirium and the elves are relics of the past. They, along with the heretical power, er, heretical powers, shall fall. Do you not agree? 
You are correct, of course, but this campaign is stretching our resources to the limit. That is why it shall be quick battle. Strength must focus be effective. Spreading our forces too widely will serve our will not serve our purpose. Our countrymen will need convincing if they are to supply us with reinforcements. If this battle is successful, our case will be made. Will you help me? Very well. Now well, we've learned about a little bit of the <laughs> plan that that guy made. Anyways, uh, let's go over to the next area. I think this is another battle. Um, I'm going to speed this battle up and put music to it, so hope you guys enjoy that. Now let's go over to the event here and we'll call it an episode. Let's go over here and find out what's going on here. Who would have thought they could have been a town in a place like this? I live just beyond Slumber Forest to the east. We should make a preparations here. Yes, a good night's sleep would do us good. If that is your decision, then I have no objections. I see. Well, if Tashana doesn't mind, I would like to do a little shopping. <laughs> this way, Leo! <laughs> uh, very well. <laughs> I like Leo's attitude and all that. <laughs> Now we got some stuff! We got Fragment of Life, we got 50 EP, 50 PP, 2,000 gold. We got a bunch of stuff. EP and all that other stuff we'll get into here in a little bit. Actually, I think we can either go to the Blacksmith, we can go to the Adventure Skill, we got the First Aid. Um, pretty much the Item Shop, we just go in here. It, it's what it says right now. We just we could go buy items and armor and whatnot. We can buy everything. Anything that our heart desires here, honestly. Okay, blah blah blah. I know that we can buy weapons, we can buy armor, we can buy accessories, we can buy items, like and all that other stuff, and skills and whatnot. Yeah, we can also stealth stuff. Blacksmith, on the other hand, uh, blacksmiths they can forge new weapons for us. And the EP, okay, remember when I told you about EP just now? EP is used for this. This enhances our weapons and. I can really go into better detail about this because I know Angie can make a lot better explanation of this stuff because honestly I still don't quite understand the process of it. Um, I guess I'll I'll do extensive research about it here in a little bit, but every weapon has every time you convert it, it has different levels. Like this. I I can I have a since I have a crap ton of EP. As you guys can probably see, I got EP from the downloads that I got from the beginning of the game. Um I can pretty much enhance all this stuff. I'll probably do that off screen right now because I kind of want to know what the hell I'm doing at the time. And this is the Adventures Guild. This is where we can go and um, pretty much keep tr title of all the achievements that we've done in the game. Pretty much like the trophy system, like the PS3 in here. But instead of getting trophies and stuff like that, we get freaking items. Like here, we get to defeat 100 enemies. If you defeat 100 enemies, you complete that. And we get items just for doing that. Uh, yeah, we just get a bunch of stuff and like that. That's one way to do that. And first aid. 
obviously. It heals everybody. If, um, if any of your characters are dead, this is the revive station, pretty much. Anyways. Anyways, I think that'll be good for this episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Record of Agris War, we are going to continue going over to the quest area over there. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.